In the middle of the month, I always make a video about the best ProBuild PCs that are on sale that you can buy right now. So if you're searching for a ProBuild PC, this is the right time to buy one since on the market there are a bunch of PCs that are on sale and will give you great performance. And don't worry if you're new to PCs, I will explain what these systems are capable of running, at which resolution and how many FPS you can expect. I will go from $580 all the way up to $3000, so if your budget is between those numbers, I highly recommend you watching this entire video. You will have the links to all of these PCs down below in the video description. That being said, let's start. With the first one we have the cheapest one and this is just a functional PC in the Big 15 L with the i5-12400 and the Intel Arc A380 for the GPU. You get 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD. So if you want a PC that is going to play games at 1080p with no problems, 60 plus FPS on average, nothing too crazy to be honest. If you're thinking of playing the latest AAA titles like Howard's Legacy on Ultra settings, this is not going to be the right PC for you. But if you want to play games like Valorant, CSGO, even GTA 5, Red Dead Redemption 2, at 1080p and you want to achieve 60 plus FPS depending on the settings, this is a nice starting point for a private PC. The price is only 580 bucks, which is a really good price for a PC like this one when talking about private PCs. If you have a bit of extra money, I recommend you upgrading the storage to 500 gigs of SSD, that way you can actually play more games. And if you have, let's say, a budget of around 700 dollars, I recommend you upgrading the graphics card to at least the GTX 1660 Super. If you make these upgrades, you will be able to get more games and also you will achieve higher FPS, especially on the AAA titles. Now if you have more money than that, then I recommend you buying just the next PC, it wouldn't be worth it to keep upgrading the system in my opinion. And with the next PC, we have the Nebula PC from the SkyTech website for $850. Here you get the Ryzen 5 3600, this is a 6 core 12 thread processor that is going to get the job done on the system and honestly it's one of the best budget CPUs still today. You get 16 gigs of RAM, so more RAM than the last system, 500 gigs of NVMe SSD and the RTX 3060 for the graphics card. The RTX 3060 is a 1080p good graphics card and you can also start playing at 1440p. If you go to the link in the video description of the SkyTech Nebula, down below you can see the estimated FPS in different titles. For example, in a game like Cyberpunk 2077, which is a game that is not easy to run, you are going to be able to run it on high settings, 80 plus FPS on average at 1080p and 35 plus FPS on average at 1440p, which is really good for a PC at 850 bucks. And in other titles like Valorant, 1440p will not be an issue. So if you want a 1440p monitor for esports titles, this PC is the right one for you. And if you want a 1080p gaming PC where you can and turn up the settings to high or ultra, this is a nice starting point. However, if you want more performance at both 1080p and 1440p for not that much more money, you can get the Big 15L upgraded version. This one has the RX 6600 XT for the GPU, which is better in terms of performance than the RTX 3060, and you also get more storage in 1TB of hard drive and 5 RAM gigs of SSD. Then you get 16 gigs of RAM and a Ryzen 7 processor, but the most important part here is that you get the RX 6 6600 XT, so you will be achieving higher FPS at 1080p and 1440p, especially at 1440p. So, if you're looking for a 2K 144Hz monitor, this one is a much better option than the last one. And in my opinion, it's the best private PC under $1,000 on the whole market. So, I highly recommend you buying this system, especially right now because you end up saving $420, which is a ton of money. With the next one, we have another Nebula, but this time it's quite more expensive at $1,400, but you get the i5 1200 along with F alongside the RTX 4070. This is in my opinion the best price to performance RTX 4070 PC on the market and let me tell you this will kill any other PC that I just mentioned in terms of gaming performance. You can play at both 1440p and 4k resolution. I recommend it more for 1440p high FPS but for you to understand how good this system is in terms of price to performance is basically 40% faster than the last system. Yes you're spending 400 extra dollars and if you don't have the money to do that then it's totally fine. Just go with the last one 
one is actually a great PC and I do recommend it. But if you have around $1,400, you get the RTX 4070, which is a much better GPU, and you will be able to play every single game at 1440p on ultra settings. And you can even jump up to 4K depending on the game and the settings, but 4K 60 plus FPS on average is definitely achievable with this system. With the next one, we have the Omen 40L. This one has the latest i7 13700K, which is a great processor, not only for gamers, but also for content creators. So if you're a professional content creator or you want to become one, having this i7 on your system is a big advantage. And on top of that, you get an Nvidia GPU in the RTX 4070 Ti, which is the current GPU I have on my PC. I will not talk about much about performance here. You will be getting higher performance than the RTX 4070, and you get a much better CPU as well, so you will be getting quite the difference in terms of gaming performance. And if you want to see the estimated FPS, you have my video about the RTX 4070 Ti with the i5 13600K, benchmarked in different titles in the top right of the screen. However, here you get the i7 instead of the i5, so you will be getting even higher FPS than I've gotten on that test. You get 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of SSD, and you end up saving $200 here. The total price for this system is 2,350 bucks. Not cheap, but if you have the budget to buy it, I think that it's a great investment, especially if you're a content creator. However, down the line, I do recommend you upgrading the RAM to 32 gigs for content creators. For gaming, 16 gigs will be just fine, but if you want to change it anyway, it's not a bad investment considering it's not expensive. With the next one, we have the Eclipse Gaming PC from Amazon. This one is $2,600 and you get the i7 13700K once again, but you get the RTX 4080 instead of the 4070 Ti and you get 32 gigs of RAM and this is DDR5 memory. You also get a 420 all-in-one liquid cooler, which is a really good cooling solution for the i7 13700K and the RTX 4080 is designed for 4K gaming so if you want to play at 1440p even on the highest settings and you want to achieve the highest FPS I wouldn't recommend you spending this amount of money for 1440p I think the 4070 Ti is the limit there but if you want to play at 4K the 4080 is one of the best GPUs for that resolution and you also get 32 gigs of RAM of the DR5 memory, great for content creators, alongside the i7 13700K. So this is an overall great PC for everyone that wants to play or edit videos at the highest resolution. But if you want the best of the best, my recommendation is still the same as a month ago in the Omen 45L with the RTX 4090. This one has the i9 13900K with the RTX 4090, which is the best CPU-GPU combo in today's market for gaming and content creation. So if you want the best of the best, this is my recommendation. Is $3,000. Yes, it's expensive, but you save 1000 bucks. This is the best deal on the market, in my opinion, and you will not find any other Preview PC at this price point with the RTX 4090 and the i9 13900K. So if you have the money to do it, I highly recommend you buying it right now because let's say you have a budget of 3000 well down the line this PC is going to be 4000 and I don't think you will be able to spend that extra grand but if you decide to buy it now, you get it at only 3000 and I know I said only, it's still really expensive but not as expensive as 4000 And if you want a PC build instead of a private PC because maybe you're willing to build it yourself and you want better price to performance especially if you're working on a tight budget, I highly recommend you watch watching my video about the best PC builds of the month in the top right of the screen where you have a PC build for every single budget. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support and I will see you on the next one.